Hi, my name is Maggie. I'm a reporter for the Journal. I have a question about our police force here. It's under DOJ scrutiny for a culture of aggression and violence and constitutional use of force. Um, and I'm wondering what you feel the federal role is in oversight. Obama's been taken to task for not criticizing police departments and their use of force and the militarization of police. What do you think about um, the federal role there? Well, I, I think that the, that the militarization of our police forces are a direct result of the war on drugs. Um, that, that's, that's the, uh, that was the, the start and the middle, and that's where it's at today. And I think that uh, bringing an end to the war on drugs uh, might actually uh, have an impact on the militarization of our police forces. I saw an ad on television the other day advertising for police officers in Hobbs, New Mexico, which showed armored assault vehicle with uh, with uh, fully clad um, guys on the side with uh, automatic weapons and uh, riot gear, and they're bashing in doors. And that's what's that's law enforcement uh, today in this country. And I think the federal Federal government has played a role in that with the assets that they also uh, distribute to local law enforcement. Um, I'm all for local law enforcement, but we have militarized our police force, and it's, it's not a good thing. And I do believe, like I say, that its roots lie in the drug war. You are looking, and, and by the way, why balance the federal budget? Um, I believe that we are gonna find ourselves in a really horrible situation in this country because of the fact that we continue to spend more money than what we take in, and essentially we print money to do that. And at some point, there is going to be horrible inflation that is going to accompany this. So our only salvation, really, is just getting spending in line with what it is, um, that, with the revenue that we bring in. So, to do that, you've got to, you, it, it would involve a 20% reduction in federal spending. Um, you can't reduce, you can't balance the federal budget unless you take on the big three, Medicaid, Medicare, and military spending. If you're talking about a 20% reduction in the military, you're only going back a handful of years to achieve that. And keep in mind that the United States is spending as much on its military as all the other countries in the world uh, combined. Uh, when it comes to Medicaid and Medicare, uh, I think that the federal government should devolve health care for the poor and for those over 65 to the states. 50 laboratories of best practice, and if I, as governor of New Mexico, were to have received 20% less money than the year before when it came to Medicaid, or Medicare, I believe in my heart of hearts that I could have overseen the administration of health care to those over 65 uh, and to those uh, on welfare. Um, I'm in the camp that really believes that there are those that are truly in need, uh, but that I think we've gone way over the line when it comes to truly in need, and if we don't correct it,